Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron 4, the start of a new campaign using the No Step Back DLC, which we're playing as the good old U USSR. But we must talk about the path of Marxism Leninism. The infallible teachings of Marx, Engels, and Lenin have lifted our nation from the deepest backwardness to technological and industrial equality. It'd be the deepest folly to change direction now, the invincible band of the workers' liberation marches ever onwards, in which I've done the right opposition, which is on the right side. I've done the center, which is on the left side, which is weird. But then we're going to do the left opposition, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title of this campaign. It's clear that the USSR has deviated from its promised path. Now there's even talk of building socialism in one country, abandoning the workers of the world to their fate instead of standing in solidarity with them. A comrade Stalin won't act. Others certainly will. Starts so a process towards a civil war. Oh, boy. Who could think of such a thing? An R-U-S-S-R? Oh, man. Let's see. What is this? I actually haven't tried this off screen yet. At least one great purchase happened. Bring back old Trotskyites back. Okay, Redak. Organize the wreckers. Sway the railway workers, of course. Integrate Smirnov's block. I set up a secret headquarters. Oh, that's not bad. Available as advisor when the civil war breaks out. Adds left opposition support in two states. That's actually not too bad. Get support from party members. Um, that seems actually pretty good. I actually like that extra political power cell. So. Some of Stalin's puppets are so mainly because they're afraid. We should convince them that our plan will succeed and that they can be heroes without really having to do much heavy lifting. There are ways, of course. Gain support. Which is nice. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to save Spain. I don't really care about Spain too much. In the end, honestly, for the Soviet this path with Trotsky, um, we're probably going to have a worldwide conquest. Like, another world conquest. So, uh, if you wonder about the Turkey Caesar's control over the Bosphorus, please go right ahead. We'll mobilize them immediately, see what they do, and get more political power that way. Uh, concerned about factionalism. If you would like to hear about this one as well, please go right ahead. Alright, let's see. So now we can set up in Arkhangelsk, we can set up in Odessa, which doesn't sound actually too bad. Um, Omsk, which I've done Omsk before, and I've done Cheetah before as well. Tashkent, Ufa. Um, Ufa sounds like, like not a bad idea. I kind of don't mind Odessa, just because it's so all the way over here. And that, that gives a good backing against the Romanians. Or they, they, they won't attack us probably, right? So actually, that's not a bad idea. The Ukraine is a good place for a bolt. It is a rich region, but with big cities, good ports, and infrastructure, however. That also means it be more difficult to convert states to a cause than it is in the less developed regions of the USSR. Oh, you know what? Let's try it over there. I know some people did Arkhangelsk, but like... That one. Not bad. We'll try it. The compromise, if you want to do this one, please go right ahead. Well, that cost could be considered concluded. Not bad. Honestly, we're going to save as much PP as we possibly can right now, so... And here we go. Oh, that's going to be pretty expensive to do. That sucks. Yeah, that's pretty darn expensive. 25, yeah, they weren't kidding. Where were they? Well, I guess our goal is to just push out. Take as much of the Ukraine as possible. As long as we start with a lot of states, that's all I really care about. Um, Actually, which one of these three is the best? 2.4. Oh, my goodness, yeah. This one's definitely the best to do. Game part support for party members. Eliminate the right. Political paranoia increases by quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know about that. Infiltrate the NKVD. Hmm, not bad. Integrate the block. Let's do this while the uh, paranoia is so low. We have a handful of old Trotskyites who have been arrested recently and put, put in prison for the opposition to Stalinist oppression. With a few well-known, cho well-chosen words to the right ears, we can see them released and sent into exile, where they can organize while being safe from political paranoia. They won't forget who helped them escape. Absolutely. Look at that. Trotsky. Kiev would be phenomenal to get to. Yeah, we're going to get... Ooh, ooh, that's not bad. This tile or this tile? Let's get Kiev, though. And go do that, too. This is why we're going to need a lot of political power here. Now, this might have been a mistake to do on this side, because we don't get, like, any political power. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's see if the Trotsky leader can get, actually break out and have the revolution succeed. <clears throat> I've never tried at least the time it's recording all the way over here, so. A couple days left. And what's next? This one, probably. Yeah. It's so much easier to take a lot of territory from over here, but we'll see. 22% is not great. Here's the uh, political paranoia by 10. Um, is there any way we're going to get more political power? Increases it. Uh, Second London Naval Treaty tried. Fourth International. Infiltrate the NKVD. That probably, we'll do that one eventually too. Military support. Uh, random purge against military. I mean, that would be good to do as well. Tukhachevsky. Yeah. <clears throat> If we want these guys with us, that means we just have to, you know, get rid of them. Cooperation against Stalin. Hmm. Hmm. Return to Moxie to the party. Well, we'll see. Get more PP. <clears throat> oh, Stalin did get that one, huh? 
Groshlov grad. That actually will be very nice. We're at 50%, which is actually really bad. Holy crap. Hopefully we'll get a purge here sooner or later. Because this is all costing us a lot. But we have some coffee here to keep us nice and warm, too. As you thought, I didn't set up any of the generals yet, too, but whatever. <sighs> Very nice. And so they got there. I would like the Crimea. We have a lot of factories here. Yeah, we really don't. Huh. Not bueno. Well. Because that'd be good to defend right here. Or actually just right there near Kirch. Uh, we still have subs trying to do their own thing, so we'll see what happens. Um, 66% is pretty bad. anti septic campaigns. A recent inspection of the Air Force has revealed a shocking series of crashes and accidents during training. Beyond that, a large number of their most modern planes <clears throat> are not fully mission capable and are waiting for maintenance. How the state of affairs could happen is unclear, but they also still worried about sabotages demand a full investigation. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Ooh, it's all in Constitution, huh? Crackdown Ukraine, huh? Oh, they're gonna take this one, huh? Hmm. I don't have any issues there, so if you do that, they're 58%. Should be able to get them in 12 days. Especially if they're doing... Oh, wait. Are they doing this? No, that's ours. We want this one, so they make sure they can't touch us too much. Yeah, we don't want to get touched. Getting touched is weird. So after integrating there's oh actually oh I want to go twenty hmm. yeah we can't do any more for now just because it's really high yeah we don't have a lot of tiles yet we gotta wait sixty four percent is going to go by twenty more eighty four percent pretty bad not gonna lie pretty bad um infantry the NKVD the rank and file the NKVD are the ones who carry out Stalin's dirty work and have to act as loyal servants but even the walls cracked we should ensure that as many of these Many of them work for us instead, feeding the tyrant incorrect information. Disloyalty in the NKVD. Oh no, a group of junior NKVD officers have approached you, Stalin, with evidence that the current head of the NKVD has been marking making plans to take over control of the capital in the event of major unrest. They believe that this is merely a ruse, and that these plans are in fact aimed at taking over the government by force. Upon being confronted with this evidence, the head of the NKVD initially tried to explain that these are routine plans that have existed for years, and which have merely been updated recently. Following further investigation and thorough interrogation, however, he has revealed the existence of a large number of foreign agents inside the NKVD. We're plotting with foreign agencies to overthrow the government. Get rid of Igoda. Uh, yes, off. Paranoia, political paranoia increased by 2% so much, but uh, we literally... Uh, yeah, we'll be at 80, 90. Yeah, we gotta do that one. I don't like it, but whatever. I don't want to get rid of Igoda. Yes, off. Para, political paranoia increased by 2 every week. That's really not good for us. Okay, 30% is not bad, though. And... Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good to get to. That's not good. I hope we can purge him again. And we lost political power. Dang it. Let's remember the last block. Infiltrate the NKVD. 71% is pretty gosh darn bad, not gonna lie. Maybe choosing the Ukraine is a bad idea. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, since we're here anyways. Uh, we should be building ourselves up here, maybe? Uh, there we go. There you go. Yeah, I don't really care about the divisions too much. So after we infiltrate them, I limit the right, maybe. Cooper cooperate. Mm. Great purge of administration. NKVD agents have uncovered a disturbing new conspiracy involving several members of a party. All the more worrying since after several arrests and exhaustive interrogations, the names of several former Bolsheviks have come to light. Further investigations reveal evidence that a number of these alleged conspirators had indeed been involved in acts of sabotage, factionalism, and anti-Soviet conduct. These men have been put on trial and are now awaiting the verdict. Judging by the charges against them, conviction will undoubtedly mean a very harsh sentence. Well, no, recall Radek. We can't. Oh, that sucks. Well, because we have him. Well, we had him over here. Birth International. Uh, Stalin's puppets in the so called Third International have proven themselves to be utterly incapable of carrying the revolution forward. Their vision of communism has little to do with their theories written down by Marx and Lenin, and instead perverts the, the dream of a democratically controlled worker state into a, a dystopian nightmare. What we need is a new international to defend the revolution. 33% is not bad. We got these guys under us too. Uh, we didn't get that one, which does suck as well, but. Oh, we're getting clipped over here. Hmm.
We want to be able to push out and get some more factories. Because, my goodness, are we going to need them? Here, take this one. Crackdown Ukraine, Xenobabite, Terracell. Yeah. Not looking great. Hey, 39% is actually pretty darn strong. That's a lot already. Because remember doing it over all, all the way over here, and again, up to 39% was a little difficult. Conspiracy in the Academy. An anonymous informant has revealed the existence of a group of students in one of the most prestigious military academies. This group appears has decided to study more than just to approve coursework and discuss the ideas of disgrace and reactionary theorists. It is as yet unclear whether they got the writings of these people, but a thorough investigation and interrogation of the ringleaders will no doubt quickly produce names. Fine with us. Purge those students. Because I do want to get over here. Hmm. Um... We're going to use it over here just to close this area off. That's why we literally have no backing. We have a back. So that'll be good. 42%. <clears throat> it is what it is. And infiltrate the NKVD. Help lower this as well. Just a little bit. Hmm. We'll see. 39% though. But getting um, more political power would be nice. Actually, cooperation wouldn't be bad. I do want to eliminate the right and see what that's like. So war has not started. Organized workers. Uh, sabotaging stuff is okay. Funds for the cause, committee in exile. Send in supporters abroad. Send sympathizers in exile. Just load to the NKVD. If you want to read about this one again, please go right ahead. Oh, send sympathizers in exile. They'll become available in support. Oh, I should do this one. I should rush for this one. So, okay, there goes Yezov. Next two weekly. Does it go to a four? Just three, okay. Oh, they got that child. That sucks. Whatever. Auto, okay. Second Moscow trial. Following the trial of the first uh, group of Trotskyites. And terrorists, investigations by the NKVD have continued and uncovered more evidence. Colorado Deck was arrested and eventually cracked during interrogation. It is revealed the existence of a widespread network of people fully or partially working with Trotsky in practically all areas of government, including the military. The ringleaders have already been arrested and confessed under interrogation. These ringleaders, including Radek, are now on trial. The crimes are less than the ones charged in the last trial, but the death penalty is certainly a possibility. Oh, crap. Hey, at least a 1%, though. That's unfortunate. I, I wish I did, got kept some of those guys, but whatever. It is what it is. We're gonna need more PP too. Expand the NKVD branch. More divisions remain loyal. I just want more divisions, man. Seventy mm. percent's not bad. Forty-one percent is actually pretty darn good. Yeah, overall, popular supports twenty-nine percent. Army supports forty-one percent, though. Yeah. That ain't too shabby. And bring up back all Trotskyites. In the early years of the revolution, there have been many uh, heated debates between various factions inside the party. Some people who were not quite on the party line, like Karl Radek and Yevgeny Preobrazhensky, were even expelled over minor disagreements. Perhaps a gesture of contribution from these long-serving party members could be enough to bring them back into the fold. Just maybe. Just, just, just maybe. 26%? Ooh, we are running out of PP. This is a much more expensive route to do in terms of trying to acquire more land. Um, is the only one we can get up to is here? Well, I want to choose the one with the most manpower, so... Wait. Yeah. 39%. Not great, but not bad. Can we not expand into Rostov, I guess? Simon Budinov includes... Accuses Zukov. Uh, reports reach our command in that report. Uh, Simonyov... Uh, Simon... Simeon Budinov. Uh, alleges very grave derelictions of duty by his fellow General Gregory Georgi Zukov. According to Budinov, Zukov conspired with foreign and reactionary elements to pass information to foreign intelligence. His further notes the multitude of training accidents that have happened under Zukov's command, alleging that these were in fact acts of sabotage by the deceitful general and his conspirators in the army. Said conspirators have substantiated the allegations after extensive interrogation. Yes, retire. Nah, we're good. So that'll be 25, 25. Oh yeah. Not bad. As a transparent employed by Semyon, Semyon to save his own skin. Pretty much, man. Wait, I said 25, not 5. What? Oh, we were hoodwinked. Maybe I didn't read it right. Oh, well. Oh, do we have your planes? Oh, that's not bad. Attack bombers? I'm going to use attack bombers this campaign. Instead of just cast, just get a lot of attack bombers. There we go. Get them all done as fast as possible. Honestly, I don't even want to use these guys. Here, get rid of that one. I don't care if they're even close to be done. Oh, I forgot about Jabby's provocation at a border. God dang it. Forgot about that one. 
As part of the maintaining the demarcation line on the border between us and Japan, it requires the Senate to check the de de uh, demarcation markers near the Lake Kasan. While approaching the border, we work requires has been taken under fire by a local Japanese Dow Post. We have lodged a formal diplomatic protest, but the Japanese ambassador maintains a work bar sent to move the markers to allow us to claim our territory. The Japanese have assured us that they will respect the border, but will not allow any tampering with the current demarcation, and will respond with force should we attempt to do so. This effectively means that we can no longer move freely about our territory in the area. Unacceptable. Which, hopefully we can get these guys over there. And there are a few divisions already over there, which is nice. Fourth International is very, 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 very good. Bring back all the Trotskyites, and now we have some PP as well. Expand the branch. I want to do that, but I think we'll be okay even if we don't. Um, I guess... 66% is quite a bit, though. Conspiracy among civil servants. Um, NKVD has discovered evidence of a large-scale conspiracy inside the civilian administration. It appears that some bureaucrats in the state planning committee have gotten very cozy with some factory managers and adjusted the production numbers in the five-year plan downwards. This, according to the NKVD, is clear evidence of anti-Soviet sabotage and deliberate weakening of the Soviet system. The arrested conspirators are quickly revealing further members of the conspiracy while other in under interrogation. All right. Move you over here just in case to begin. Because we got about a week left for everyone to show up. And, uh, boy, they are taking their time, aren't they not? Alright, so is there anything else we can do here? Is this, is this Ukraine? Is that it, really? That must be it then. Japanese feet. If you want to go that, please go ahead. Very nice. Um, I guess we should, might as well do this one. We should take the opportunity to expand the military branch of the NKVD. The these troops can be very useful in securing a future victory. Well, we're up by 5%, better than 10%, I suppose. The comedian exile. We can never be sure who Stalin's mad gaze will fall on next. We must prepare clandestine routes and safe houses to smuggle people out of the country. We find out that some of our supporters are stronger by another. Uh, I'll go to Spain. There's no place in the army for such men. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now this is five, yeah. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, I didn't realize that, uh... Huh. You can only do this so many times like this. That really sucks. What do we really win the civil war anyways? I mean, if it keeps purging people, I mean, we'll get more and more army support. Like, naval support doesn't matter. Air support doesn't, air support doesn't really matter too much. Sure, guys, if you want to go in through our lands, that's fine. I don't really care. Funds for the cause. Divert attention towards the military. Honestly, that doesn't really matter to us. We'll bypass this one. Military support's not bad, though. From the armed forces. Um, maybe? Sway the railway workers. Add drill and supply hubs around the headquarters state when the Civil War starts. Get more political power, too. I like that one. Ignite the flames. Vanguard of the true revolution. I want Tukhachevsky, if you can. Tukhachevsky is, without a doubt, one of our greatest military thinkers. While a series of fast-moving combined armed units striking deep into the enemy rear, now without their critics, he still enjoys the support of the, some very capable generals. If you can convince him to join and support our cause, he would be an invaluable asset. If you want to do this one again, please go ahead. Support for the opposition in the Navy increased up to 5%. Nice. No, it didn't go up at all. That's, yeah, that's really bumming me out. Like, you can only do Ukraine? You can't spread out even further? anti soviet trust get first. Oh. Increased by 30. That's not good. Oh. The committee next out. I should have done that one way earlier. But whatever. I made a mistake. I make mistakes sometimes. Especially when I get ra really raging in videos and just frustrated. And people call me off for it. I get... You know. I make mistakes. Um... 58% is not good, though. Hmm. Using threats, bribery, and personal connection, connections. Um, Solid attempts to ensure the loyalty of a Navy leader is preparation for future conflict. Um, sure. Support for the Army. Oh, 54%. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty nice. Can we be an exile? Send supporters abroad. Safest place to be is... is to be is as far as from Solid's current as possible. We need to keep people out of the country into safety until it's time to return and finish the work that we've started. We send an exile. Well, brought back. Um, I guess. I'm not sure if we can send anyone else. I mean, I want Tukhachevsky. Hmm. I, I, we'll try it. Something different. I've never tried that one before, so. And now we're up 91%. The third Moscow trial. 
The investigations before the second Moscow trial also revealed a large number of trust gets in the military and upper party leadership, led by Bukharin. These people have been arrested and interrogated, where they have been confessing to the most serious and heinous of crimes, from planning sabotage to attempt, attempt assassination, conspiring with foreign powers, and even mixing nails in a butter to injure or kill regular Soviet citizens. If convicted, the penalty for these crimes would almost certainly be death by shooting. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Alright, so we're going to point, approach him, um, and just keep doing this as far as, far as we can. Also, I'll let you know if you didn't, if I, I didn't tell you guys yet. We're on A historical, so we'll see what happens. We are on A historical for the campaign. Tukhachevsky, funds for the cause. I want to get as much done as we possibly can before we actually go to do the war, so I want actually political power. As best we can do this before this thing starts, it would not be bad. Should Stalin and his henchmen decide to make a fight of it instead of doing what would be best for the revolution and resign? We must be ready to fight. In such a desperate situation, even sabotage against the property of the people must be considered. We must ensure that it is targeted um, when it, where it is required and doesn't destroy the great accomplishments of the Soviet workers. Zakharov accused of treason. Oh. Zakharov is level 1, so it's fine if he leaves. Goodbye. Thank you. 48% still not bad, though. Radio. Get some construction speed. Yes, please. Thank you. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments. Should we, because we're going with Trotsky, should we just annex everybody, literally, literally everyone worldwide, or should we make them all puppets? Now, if we make them all puppets, oh god, it's gonna be so bad. But let me know in the comments below. Should we do puppets or just straight up annex, annex everybody? I'm feeling and leaning towards just annexing everybody because they're all part of the one global revolution. But you know, let me know in the comments below which way we should go. Workers' dictatorship, 56% from the army. That's not bad. Popular support is 37%, so not too shabby. This is really sad, though, that we're stuck here. Like, we did Cheetah and all these other nations, or not nations, cities in the Far East. Like, we got all this territory over here. All this territory in Vladivostok as well, eventually, but still. Ukraine's gonna rise up. Arseny Golovko accused of treason? Oh, no. Nice hair, dude. Oh, that's not bad, though. Sorry, it's, it, it's worth the cause. It's worth it. Because I want to get as many focuses done as possible before we actually do all this other stuff. So, ooh, goes up by 10, huh? 56, huh? Almost 60 already. Organize the workers. Might as well. I don't want that extra political power. Since supporters are brought... Oh, wait. You to, oh, you to, this comes back again and again? Uh, Zukov. Yeah. Actually, for these guys. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a bit ridiculous. I don't like that. You should have an option. You should have, like, a 50 political power cost to send them out the first time. And if you want to send someone else out, it should cost, like, 10. Maybe. 10, 5, 10 um, political power just to send them into the committee to send them out. So I think that would be better, but that's a lot of political power. That's a lot of political power. You have Garab, um, 15. I don't really want to get rid of him. But whatever. Give us a little bit more time. Organize the Rectors. Ignite the Flames. Uh, pop support for an uprising increases by 1.5%. Add support for the left opposition in the Army, Navy, and Air Force, and the start of civil war. Exiled characters will become available, and remove Trotsky at plot. Not bad. Funds for the causes? I like that. It's a 35-day focus. Having left Trotsky and others based around abroad can certainly work to our advantage. We should organize socialist fundraising events around the world and secretly try to convince governments to support us with the arms at the same time. Marco Polo Bridge incident. Uh, I'd like to do that, but we're 59% already. It's the loyalty of a general. Ivan Konev becomes loyal to Stalin. Yeah. It's, we got... We got um, Zukov with us. That's nice. Ooh. Support for the Navy will go up as well. Wow. Oh, it jumped up to 40%. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And we have no put a but whatever. Doctrines. Sub stuff. Subsidiary carry roles. Not bad. Wreck me daddy. Cool. But I think the Civil War shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have the, the vast majority of support from the Army. A good support from the Navy and Air Force. So, public support actually went down. It affects his surrender level, huh? All right, sure. Why not? Organize the wreckers. Um, which one do we want to do? Funds for the cause, yeah. That'd be nice. Um, sure. Goes up to thirty-nine percent. Not terrible. And then I won't get. Like I said, I won't do as much as we possibly can. We can wait for that one. Sway the workers. It only increases by five. I like that one. Oh, 35 day focus. That's not bad. Get extra railway supply help. So that way we don't literally have to build them up ourselves when we do invade Romania. So, a revolution needs supplies. We must win over the railway workers to our cause. That'll give us the opportunity to prepare and hide supply depots around our bases or operational bases. Army was like, yes, more. Still stuck at 65%. We should just, we should go to war now, but it's fine. 
I just hope we can do do well here. Um, get a sense. Well, you know, every time I do this, Spain usually ends up looking like they were going to win first, but usually is not the case. Usually, not always, but usually. Nice funds for the cause, and there they go. Oh my God! Oh my God! That's so bad. <clears throat> France supports our cause. The French government has agreed to secretly suppress with arms. Oh, but the UK won't. Oh, that sucks. America won't support us, but France does. Ah, uh, you, me, and the French. What could be better than that? And we're going to need a navy. We're really going to need a navy. I want these. Um, yeah, I must start researching that. It's fine. We're going to think long term here. Very long term. Keep building this up. Ooh, planes? Ooh, attack bombers. Do we have that on there? No, we don't. Kodesh Code, accused of treason. He's level, skill level 3. Where are we at for this level? Um, uh, just get rid of him. It's fine. We can always get new generals, right? 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 Right. We're going to need to get a lot of new generals by the time we're done here. And then... You know what? I'll try to eliminate the right. There is a factions inside the party that are utterly incompatible with each other. If we were to take over the government and steer the revolution back on track, we cannot afford to be distracted by the meddling. But if Comrade Stalin was looking for inter enemies to fight, we could implicate some people for him to take a look at. Absolutely. Great Purge. Oh. Look at his off. Oh, wow. Evidence that there's a large Trotsky network in the army is quickly growing every day. The NKVD is arresting new suspects implicated in the previous confessions. These people often turn in, often in turn reveal the names of further co-conspirators. I'll take time to track down all the generals who are part of this conspiracy, but it's clear that the list below represents a significant fraction of it, whose guilt has been proven by the confessions. All cheers must pay the, the ultimate price. Clement Voroshilov. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Wait, Clement Voroshilov. Twice. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well. Clement, no! Oh, I guess we got rid of Pimikov. Eh, whatever. My bad. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Premier Cavalry Generals and support will be very valuable in trying to secure the country. My bad. After this one. I did this one last time to divert detentions with the military. If we can, I'll try to do military support as well, but we'll see. 69%. God dang. 7%. Oh, we got time. Eh, a little bit. Uh, military support. Um, getting the support from within the armed forces can be valuable, even if it means risking Stalin's informers getting wind of our plot. Hopefully it'll be too late for him anyways when that happens. Yay. All I can say is yay. Keep building, 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 building. Because we have most, the vast majority of the Ukraine under us, which is good. Good, 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 good. Eliminate the right. Military support. Nice. Alright, is he done? <clears throat> and after that, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I guess we'll just ignite, ignite the flame, I guess. The time's come, let's raise the banners against a tyrant, the revolution begins anew. Not bad. Totally no Trotsky I plot yet. Totally not. Totally not. What do you have here? Yeah, that's better. Cool. And some coffee to keep us nice and warm. I, I apologize, it takes about half an hour for us to get to this point in the. Civil War for this video, just because I want to do as many focuses as humanly possible before we actually uh, do it. So, a conspiracy, it must be rooted out. That's fine with us. Oh, we actually lose political power that way. What kind of sucks? Ah, eh, do it anyways, because you can. Look at all the people we killed off already. Holy crap. That's a lot of dead guys. And maybe even women, too. Holy crap. How many, people, how many journals do we have left? Oh, we've got Kona, but he's low to Stalin, so we don't have him. Shlapshnikov? Shapshnikov? Timoshenko's still here, that's good. Mm. Gorbatov, Popov is still here. No one else? No? Okay, cool. Uh, General. Ooh. Can we afford this? We'll lose some serious political power. Go up by 15, 65, 65, 85. Ah, screw it, we'll keep them. We'll I'll see if we can live. Because now. We're getting pretty high here. That's pretty bad. Cheers, loyalty of a general. Not bad for him. Not too bad. And we should have this one done very soon. Okay, another week. Holy crap, that takes so long to do. But we do have a good amount of able XP. Oh, what's this? Oh. Constant Rokosovsky. Ooh. Ooh. Gorb oh no, Go oh look at that. So he's been accused by Gorbatov, but we did see earlier that Gorbatov was is loyal to Stalin. So if we get rid of him, 
We get rid of a loyal uh, general. Not bad. But it's time to ignite the flames. And see what happens. Senacious Poland. Oh. Well, good job, Poland. Uh, I guess Austria Hungary is reforming. Okay, so we have some political power. Let's increase naval support. Uh, since support is abroad, Ivan Fedorensky is. Fedorensky. Oh, he's kind of. Oh, it's not really good. He's a Trotskyite. Caught by Stalin. Yeah, he's okay. He's not great. Send supports abroad. Recruit a general to your cause. One in 15 days that'll happen. Admiral, Navy support. You can't get army support. Support the army has to be less than. Oh, we're seven. Oh my gosh. 76%. That's. That's a little nuts. Hmm. We're 79% already. It's pretty high, honestly. Go up by 20. 20. We'll start the Civil War basically immediately then. Um, let's get general. 89%. Holy crap. That's a lot. That is quite a bit, not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. They mobilize the armed forces. Our operations can no longer uh, continue covertly. Stalin has mobilized the army in the NKVD and started rounding up everyone suspected of plotting against the state. If we don't act now, everything we have fought for will be for naught. War it is then. Wait, ignite the flames. Ah, Soviet Civil War. Here we go. Comrades, the time has come again to raise a banner and go to war for the revolution. Before we can rescue the proletariat, though, we must regain control of the USSR. Just like we defeated the white armies, we must now defeat those that stand in the way of the true revolution in the motherland. We must also decide on whom our leader and the struggle should be. Oh, Smirnov will be the people, lead the people to victory. The Siberian Lenin? Oh, who's Smirnov? Trotsky. Permanent revolutionary. We lose political power. Just by Wargo something goes up. Wait, what? Well, as always, Stalin's main adversary. 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 Oh, my goodness. Union of Soviet Republics. Yep, there you go. Um, please tell me you're all down here. <laughs> 103 divisions in this army alone? That's not enough. Oh, then again, we do have guys all around. Oh. No, just... Why are you up here, then? Why does that make sense? Whatever. Um, shippies. How about y'all come... Actually, you can't get down here. Ooh, that sucks. That's actually really not good. If you can, go home. Find a home. Um, yeah. Good luck with that. Oh god, so many people purged. I go do that. Um, there you go. Kuzma, there you go. <clears throat> if that's the case, you guys come over here and quickly move through here. I'll probably send them to Baku and stuff like that. And you guys are tanks. Oh my goodness. You guys look pretty bad around here. Then again, it's just a lot of supply issues right now. That's why I wanted those railways earlier. But let's get a field marshal up here. Tukhachevsky, welcome Tukhachevsky. Oh, that's really strong. Oh my gosh, we got Tukhachevsky. Yes. You know, for Tukhachevsky, I'll grab him charismatic as well. That's really good. And for the infantry, who do we want? Bizarin? Cal by Stalin. Well, who cares about being Cal by Stalin when we're going to be killing him? So, I'm not sure why that's a big deal. Ivan Fedyunsky? Well, you're welcome that we saved you. Let's see the Chuikov. That's good. Um, you suck. Malinovsky. Why did you get purged? Kirill? Oh, I'm going to go Kirill. Ya Yakov uh, Cherevichenko. Alright. Any other field marshals that we have? No. It kind of sucks, but whatever. And I do see that horse boy here. There we go. Let's go in and we'll do another focus. The common turn. Um, what do we do? Ignite the flames? Oh. Well, should auto bypass. And can we do anything here? Vanguard of the True Revolution. Let the world hear of our revolution. We shall make a call to all revolutionaries around the world to flock to our banners. Together we can beat Stalin. Together we can carry the revolution to victory. And before we forget, at least before I forget, because I know I promise I will forget. Planes. Do we have any planes? Can we do anything about the planes? And do we have any other planes? We have no... Like, no planes. Which means hopefully Stalin doesn't have that many planes. I mean, they they, they get most of the Air Force too, so that's really bad for us, but whatever. But whatever. So, it's Civil War. Guys, please just go in. We don't have time to wait. Partisans join the uprising. Stalin's hold on the country is faltering. All across the Soviet Union, people are rising up against the tyranny of Stalin. Partisan units are forming that to help us in our struggle. 
Nice. And how many do we have? A casual 11. Good luck, and don't try to die too hard. Why are you trying to make your way back here? And did we take it? Okay, who's moving in there? Nobody? Oh my goodness, please. Oh my god, please, please. There you go. Nice job, guys. So you guys come down here. And y'all just spread like cancer. Just just go. And you guys did great, too. Uh, that's the case. I'm going to send you guys over here, too. Um, supplies are going to be a huge issue for us. But it's alright. Wow, that sucks for Spain, but look at that flag. Sabotage enemy construction. Uh, activists are waiting orders to strike at the construction work works all across the country. Military factory. China's killing itself, too. You have a dockyard. Sabotage enemy rail. Oh my gosh, that really sucks for you uh, guys. Uh, 15 extra trains. We have enough trains. Yeah, we need more trucks, though. Overall, it looks like we're winning. It's very good. It's always good to win, right? It's always good to win. We're going to need more trucks. There you go. At least make one truck at a time. Honestly, I oh, we can't even delete them. Darn it, that sucks. Let them set and forget. There you go. Hopefully, we get quite a bit more uh, army XP here, too. How many divisions do they have? Up to 54. We have 139. We should be able to win, right? Should. Should. Go to Minsk. Please, go to Minsk. Alright, so, what else can we do here? War propaganda against the Soviet Union. Um, Molotov, of course. Trotsky here. But he can't be party leader, so. Smirnov. Ooh, more construction speed factory output. That's pretty nice. Political power and other stuff, too. Soviet economist. That's not bad, too. Happy 38, everybody. Happy, happy 38. Get some deck conversions. You know, let's grab some radar. Not bad. Not bad overall. Anyone learning here? Anyone smart? They got smarties. Hmm. Enemy desertion. After soldiers captured Stalingrad, Stalin is losing heart. Soldiers are deserting in, in mass, and some are just laying down their arms while others are actually joining their cause. Army stockpile captured North Ossetia. A Soviet army depot was captured. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, is this like TNO? The tensions between the US and Japan? What does it mean for the Pacific? Another world war. But uh, the retreating Soviets have tried to destroy the army base, our army depot, but our soldiers managed to capture some of the equipment. Great. We can put it to good use. Absolutely. And new desertions. Again. Yay. Actually, what are we building up here? We need to build more than just what we're making right now. 100%. That's nice. Uh, any better infrastructure anywhere here? No. Oh, Odessa, yeah. Do Odessa. Why am I building up roads? Because it's easy and cheap to do. Well, cheap ish. But, um, it's actually, uh, do that one, that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> it helps you with actually just a slightly more supply. Not much supply at all, but a slightly more. Um, there you go. There you go. Your cavalry guy, you might as well hop out. Any musicians? Great. Not bad. Ooh, actually, that motorized would be very useful for you guys. Nice. Oh, they're about to capitulate. Good go. So many of them already. Um, honestly, we're probably going to grab war bonds just because we're not going to be able to take that for a while and we've got a lot of things to build, so. Let's get another one. Thank you. Oh, Golikov defects. Unhappy with Stalin's treatment, Philip Golikov has decided to abandon the dictator and join his rifle struggle. A small number of units have decided to follow the general rather than save Stalin. Nice. The Peasant Militia Brigade. I don't even want to use you, man. You suck so much. Here, you guys come over here. Enemy division is great. Unrest in the USSR. Reports suggest the latest victories in the field, such as the capture of Guryev, has led to a protest all around the USSR. Um, naturally, Stalin's cronies are striking these protests down brutally, but regardless, it's bound to impact the Soviet war uh, effort negatively. I'm only doing that so we get some more equipment, too. We will win this, pretty much. I mean, we're, we're, we've already won. We literally just won. We're the vanguard of the true revolution. We've won. Really easy. Yeah, Civil War's not that bad. Even in the Ukraine. I was a little worried that if we're just stuck down here, we wouldn't be strong enough. But if you take your time with it, you can definitely win. Alright. So what's next? Common turn. Remove the counter-revolutionaries. Right opposition vibes will be removed from them. Oh. Long the workers' government. Workers' government. It's not bad. Get more political power. Create the fourth international. The permanent revolution. Ooh. We do want to get the extra political power, though. Uh, organize a fifth columnist's decision to ignite a revolutionary uprising in enemy European countries. Ooh, a global class struggle. Destabilize European neighbors and justify wars against them? Honestly, I want to see if we can maybe still save Spain, maybe? 
maybe the comet turn? The struggle for the workers' liberation is not limited to any country. It is a global struggle. We must extend aid to comrades in the nations of the world, to any of the nations of the world, and fight the forces of reaction and counter-revolution wherever they may be found. Oh, which one do we like? Yeah, we like you guys, don't we? Ooh. Because they're commies. Hmm. Anarchists? Democracy. Ah. Oh, oh, we can't even do any of this stuff here. Oh, we can only send them to these guys. Victory. The war against Stalin is over. The dictator has been overthrown. Lev Trotsky has led us to victory. It's time to reignite the revolutionary flame and bring freedom to the working class across the globe. The Stalinization will begin. Ah, oh, this one. Hmm. If they lose a civil war, end of the Soviet civil war. We're victorious. The capitulation of the last remaining units loyal to the Stalin marks the end of the Soviet civil war. Lev Trotsky has declared himself victorious and has vowed to make the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia rise from the ashes of the civil war and destruction. Uh, the task ahead is enormous, but in the world situation is unclear, but he's adamant that a new era for the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia and for the world has just started. It remains to be seen whether he can live up to his declarations. We're victorious. At the very least, I guess we'll send some volunteers to you guys. I mean, it's not great, but whatever. Cavalry is not worth sending. Um, where are your mountaineers? I just said mountaineers. You guys are what? 24 convoys, not bad. Any extra generals? Yes, you. I don't want to send you guys, but whatever. I want some more army XP. That's, that's why we're sending them. Um, how many planes can we send? 102. Okay, so we have like no planes anyways. Tactical bombers. Do we have any extra? No, my god. But that'll be fine. Yeah, I want to send him to the anarchist because we could. But whatever. Whatever. Come turn. Oh, look at this guy. Permanent revolutionary. And then we'll do the same military advisors of Spain. The capital of the U-S-R-E-A. That's weird. The war is over. A decision needs to be taken regarding the future capital of the country. Moscow, Leningrad, where the revolution started. It has to be Petrograd. I kind of like Petrograd. But Leningrad. Ooh, let's keep Odessa. That's not bad. A conference in Spain after winning a democratic election now faces a reactionary counter-revolution. We must support them lest their defeat encourages fascists in other countries. I don't want Moscow. I've done that before. Uh, this is not bad. Petrograd? I think we gotta go with Leningrad. That just makes sense for us. I, I love Petrograd, but still. Oh, now we get the International Brigade. Revolutionaries from all around the world have arrived to fight against the enemies of the true revolution. The workers are being transformed or formed into international brigades that can soon be unleashed on the enemies of the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia. A welcome addition. Thanks for showing up, guys. You're a little late. Just a little bit late. And you kind of suck. I'm not going to... Oh, my gosh. You guys really do suck. Well, that sucks, but whatever. <coughs> oh! Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to do that, but okay, whatever. Oh, uh, why is desalinization... Why are you so... Oh, you actually joined the Estonians. Well, look at that. The revolution is triumphant. The dictator has fallen, and once again, the proletariat rule the country. The cultish behavior of Stalin must be stopped. All and all soul, symbols, all symbols must be removed. The city is named after Stalin, and its followers need to be renamed to something more fitting. This is especially true for the city of Stalingrad. Trotsky is the true hero of the revolution. Volgograd. Oh, you didn't name Volgograd, yeah. Trotskygrad. Uh, Stalin will be renamed to Donetsk, or Stalin will be renamed to Trotsk. And Stalinabad will be renamed to Dushanbe. Dushanbe. Versus this one, Smirnovabad. Nice. True hero of the revolution. Bless his heart. Anarchists. I don't know why we're fighting them, but whatever. Honestly, if we do it like this, then, um... Then we can just kill Spain later, too. I'm here for the army speed, so who cares. Come turn. Yay! Oh, you're forcing an attack. Why, 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 why? Do that and do that. You can still win here. Actually, we still win here in uh, Spain. That's very nice. Military advisors, very good. So, come on in, too. Any other field marshals? Tukachevsky, you're not doing anything. You might as well come over here, too. Just go in. See what you can do. All right. After that one, I still want to keep doing this stuff on the left side here, though. <clears throat> the permanent revolution. Marx's theory teaches that the revolution is inevitable if the circumstances are right. However, the circumstances are clearly not right, or not right everywhere. We must not grow complacent and wait for a world revolution that may be centuries away. Workers and peasants around the world are suffering right now, today, and their liberation cannot wait. 0.95, that's, just, that's not too bad, considering where we're at. Uh, let's go and grab... Ooh, actually. Uh, I want to go to War Economy. Yeah, as much as I want to get more daily army XP right now. Look at all these people that were purged. Holy crap. So win there, win there, and we'll, and we'll start talking about a couple other things. Nice. Not bad. 
Nice. Permanent revolution. As it should be. Permanent. Now we actually build ourselves up here too. Which would be very nice. There you go. Got a lot of build. Lots of savings. It's already 38. And the Germans, I did set them to be historical for this campaign. So we will be fighting some Germans eventually. Hopefully we can do okay against them. Um, let's get this one done first. And then we'll throw in another uh, Millie. Because, my goodness, we're going to need a lot of things. A lot of things here. Alright, so you guys are doing okay. I might recommend that you guys come around to... Honestly, like here. Do something like that. Take the fighters. And there we go, too. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. After the permanent revolution, I remove the counter-revolutionaries. There are many others who harbor resentments against Solomon. While we are still consolidating a rule, we must not allow these people to start forming counter-revolutionary cells. Thus, we have another civil war on our hands in short order, which sounds like, a, that's like an Easter egg path. Like, oh, we had one uh, re counter-revolution. We should have another. Sounds like another just event that could happen. Oh, oh yeah. I you mean, know, uh, I don't want these divisions, but whatever. We'll pop them out anyways. If anything, um, just do that. Get some arty too. I, I like throwing a lot of arty on our divisions too. Just give them more strength if possible. Uh, there you go. That's good enough for now. You guys come over here. Can we get rid of the international brigades? Honestly, you guys. There you go. You guys are what? Twelve combat with? Not good enough. There you go. So yeah, get rid of these guys. They can form the whole like garrisoning stuff, which is fine with us. They don't really care too much. And you guys are doing okay-ish. Nice. Nice. You now since we're here, we might as well set this up to do it like this. Because let's be real, the AI loves invading sometimes. Navy invading. So. Oh, that sucks. You guys are trapped down here. Oh. Garbo. Quite garbo. Yeah, having Leningrad as a capital is so close. To Finland, or I guess now Estonia. Not great. But whatever. We'll deal with it. We will deal with it. There you go. Now get out of here. Uh, Rodian, you you really suck. Minus 35% leader uh, cost, or whatever it is. Oh, garbage, my friends. Garbage. Ah, that permanent revolution. Factionalism kind of sucks, though. Actually, it doesn't kind of suck. It does suck. It sucks a lot. We are so out of so much equipment. Oh, my goodness. And we're trying to wage a war, too. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 38's not bad. Are we doing this one? Yes, we did. Tanks up. I do want to use tanks. I want to use quite a few tanks, so. And Greece is declared war on Turkey. All right. Get another carrier hole if you can. That'd be nice. Keep going. Oh, some of these guys are forcing an attack. Not sure if that's a really wise thing to do. But we'll see what happens. So after this, the next guy we're going to get... Oh, we can get right now. Oh, everyone's pressing special. So. Eighth generation, close air support. Shang-Chi is gone. Uh, that's not... All we have left are air guys. Army drill. It's currently in exile. Can't be purged while in exile. Well, a global class struggle. Builder of the Red Army. re the revolutionary spirit. Ooh, weekly manpower. And more attack for a year. Or Builders of the Red Army. Let me know in the comments below. Should we do Builder of the Red Army? Or should we do reigniting the revolutionary spirit? Let me know in the comments. Which one should we go with? I'm totally fine with either one, so. I want to know what you guys are thinking. The onslaught of uncolonialism. Oh, nice. Honestly, if you guys if this guy could learn more, I don't mind if we can get an officer core rule. Roll. Not rule. Roll. Just because uh kind of sucks right now. So. We'll see what happens. Still getting grinding out that army XP. And a few planes here. Um, honestly, if anything, we should put you at the top. Just because we need planes now. Now. Uh, anywhere else that has a pretty good amount of uh, infrastructure? Yeah, I'll you good. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. Alright, the fall of Nanjing. Oh, we can send volunteers to them too. I forgot about that. Uh, they're looking pretty bad. Ooh. Actually, no, we can't send volunteers. Ah. <sighs> they're fighting everyone though. Oh, poor Mao. Mao, 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 Mao. Yeah, that's not good. Mm. Oh god, Tukach Oh no, you can still get Tukacheski. That's, that's not bad. But Mass Assault. I'm not a big Mass Assault person. Yeah, I'm not feeling Mass Assault. So we can't get anyone for that. Mm. 
What doctrines do we do? Land auction? Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling Mass Assault. <sighs> Grand Battle Plan. Australia seeks distance. Mobile Warfare. I don't know. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. What? Okay. Actually, what are these guys? Do they get any supply consumption reduction? Yeah, they do. 10%. That's not bad. Oh, 20%. Wow. As much as I want to do this one, we're going to go Grand Battle Plan. I, I know I choose this one all the time now. But it's just because we're having, we have grand plans, do we not? Like, Trotsky has huge plans for the future. So I'm just thinking that might be the best. If anything, we could go to Madrid and cut them off there, but probably not. Uh, let's go to Siona. Go there, too. All right. Um, where are we at? Soviet Economist. Left Wing Trade Unionist. Ooh. Let's take a look here first. It's L38. Um, that's good. That's good. Light tanks would be nice, but whatever. Um, I do want to get more naval stuff. It is almost December, though. Get some of that. That's fine. All right. Purge these guys. Long live the workers of government. <clears throat> well, it's not bad. Now that we've started the long road towards the true liberation of the working class, we must not fall to the temptation of replacing one government of the elite with another. Though a government of a union must always be the true government of the workers, by the workers, and of course, for the workers. Mm. And you know what? I'll leave this up to you. Which way should we go? Should we go at Smirnov? Should we get Preobrazhnesky? Should we get Smilga? Or should we, and, and or should we get Shlyapnikov? Shlyapnikov. Let me know which four out of these four guys we should choose. Because I'll leave it up to you. I'll give you guys a uh, choice in this campaign as well. Oh, we go Mass Assault now. But no thanks. If that's the case, Metro High Command. Uh, in the meantime, who are we going to choose? Hmm. Ooh, naval reformer. Naval experience. We could use more naval XP, but still. Close air support. We're not using cast. Actually, we might as well use cast in this one. Beaten but not defeated. Ah. Ah, we might use cast eventually. We'll see what happens. Honestly, let's get some more stability. Um. Yeah. Get some more stability. Or propaganda. There you go. Something to keep us nice and busy. There you go. Go in. You know what? Just go on in. See if we can do that. That'd be nice. Long live the workers' governments. And then, I honestly probably want... Ooh, yeah. Threat from the Rising Sun. And then probably do the Red Flag. Probably. We definitely need to come over here and start doing some industry so we can get some more research. Ooh, National Specialists or Foreign Experts. I think I went National Specialists last time. Uh, not sure which way we should really go, though. You know, I'll leave this up to you. Should we go National Specialists or should we go Foreign Experts? Some people say that Foreign Experts is better than National Specialists. And they're not necessarily wrong, but like, let me know which way we should go because we're going to go to the USSR Academy of Sciences soon ish as well. But we'll probably start with heavy industry. While our industrialization projects continue to gain speed, the time has come to shift towards a bigger emphasis on heavy industry and preparation for the producing more war material because the revolution needs more war material. Why do we keep making these divisions? Why? I, oh, yeah. We need quite a few divisions here. Way more arty, way more infantry equipment. Oh my goodness. And we're doing relatively okay this year. Oh, 36 carry holes. Nice. Let's grab some more output as well. Thank you very much. Um, nope, nope. And I got more than enough naval XP to do this. Yay. Well, that means we're going to need better planes. God dang it. Oh well. Anti air. No radar yet. God dang it. And that is not good either, but whatever. We'll, we'll take it. For the revolution. Seems like everything we do is for the revolution, good or bad. Um, I don't know, it's going to go bye-bye. There you go. If that's the case, I actually want you guys to be up here in Leningrad. There you go. Honestly, don't even make them. Nah, you're almost done with that one. There you go. That one's good enough as well. It's fine. Oh, oh, we actually got the rest of the Navy here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a part of our fleet. Look at that. Oh, you guys are trapped down there, though. Do we have any... Oh, there's a lot of subs here. Oh. Lots of subs. Alright, there you go. And then you guys go right there too. This is going to feel... Might, might as well have everyone train, right? Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. You guys are doing okay-ish. It would help if I give you orders. <laughs> Probably. Go on it. See if you can do anything here. Along with the workers' government, my friends. Heavy industry... 
and probably followed up with infrastructure effort. The Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia is vast, but mostly empty. We must ensure the ability to transport goods and equipment across the width of a country quickly. Who can we invite? Oh, Communist China. Aww. Oh, are they fighting the Japanese? Ooh, we might want to get involved quickly then. Ooh, I don't want to fight the Japanese immediately, though. But hey, we're going to probably end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, Turkey. And oh, that's getting looking weird over there. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow um, as we expand the Fourth International globally. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.